Hi, good afternoon. This is my first vlog. I've been meaning to do it for uh, six months since I came back from Tasmania. Um, recording my events and things that are going on in the studio here. What, we do, what I'm doing here is very solitary. Um, and these vlogs are an opportunity to discuss solitary things and um, where where my work's going. Um, where my work's going, I, I did the woodcut for the woodcut and liner cut talk, which is on, which is a very long talk, but it's but it's what I was asked to do at the museum, so I haven't cut it. But in there you'll see the work that I've made since I've been back uh, from Tasmania, which is Still Life with Blackbirds, which is a series of 15 stroke 16 um, uh, liner cuts running a narrative where I'm working with the writer Joanne Reardon Lloyd. Um, but what I'm doing here um, is working and responding to Milton's uh, Paradise Lost, which I've st I picked up because it's a, it's a it's a it's a very English epic poem. It's one of the if not the great English poem, um, and it involves extraordinary things, extraordinary things about. Uh, metaphysical things about the creation of the world, about uh, faith, um, uh, about Christianity. Um, but it, for me, it discusses a problem which is what I call, and I, what I call the series of work, I call it the problem of evil um, and the persistence of, of evil. And in the poem, he talks about the fall of Satan, this great angelic being that wants to be God himself, even though he's a made being. So we see it right at the beginning of the poem, him thrown out of heaven. Um, now for me, when I read the poem, so I read the poem about, about two and a half years ago for the first time, um, and immediately I started reading it, I saw it, so I started sketching. And then a series of about 40 sketches occurred, and then um, I then built on those sketches and reworked those sketches. So they're about, uh, well, there are a good hundred um, build going on and upwards. Um, so where I am now, I'm breaking them down into, into, the, into the 12 books. And what I've cut, and even before I went to Tasmania, I'd already cut two of the blocks, um, just in their black and white form. But and since I've come back, I've done another six, which I'm about to show you. And the one behind me here, I'm just starting, is more of a, um, uh, a flavour. There's four of these larger ones, um, which are a flavour of the first book, which is about being seen. And even though this, this isn't an illustration to um, Milton's Paradise Lost, it's uh, a dialogue, a conversation. Um, so I'm taking immense liberties. It's more... Um, a starting point, a lot of things I've thought about in my life that I've, um, and of course, the reason I'm really excited about it, because I'm, what I want to do in my colour is it's a light dark contrast, so it would be contrasting two colours, um, it would be the, the, the violets and blues against the yellows, um, so that's really my motivation, that it's going to be a contemporary, uh, a complementary colour, um, just like the last set that I that I brought to um, Australia to Tasmania and showed there, um, not all of them, a selection from them, was a warm cold contrast. This is a light dark contrast, which is the still life with blackbirds is part of that too. It's an extreme. It's extremes of like, because it's a, a detective story. So it's that kind of light dark contrast. This is a light dark contrast of good and evil. So that was my as I as I read it, I thought, oh my goodness, this is this is definitely part of the colour series, the colour form series. Um, but it's kind of, the more I think about it, the more I read it, the more I want from it. Uh, when I was in Italy this year in Tuscany, um, I was rereading, uh, I read the, the, the whole poem again, and more and more I was seeing more things I, I want to talk about, especially in the third bit, which is, is all to do with heaven. Um, I started seeing um, new, new things that, uh, or um, old ideas that I've never been able to fully make sense of. Um, and so they're probably going to be, um, I'm, I'm working them out at the moment, uh, some of the biggest liner cuts I've ever made in my life. So they'll be uh, 200 centimetres wide, 
by about probably about 50 centimeters uh, in, in height. So they fold out in, in portfolio, but also they're, they're, they can be separate pieces, but they, they will be colored too. But they will be more the yellows and um, uh, working into the beauty of the violets and blues. Whereas the first book, which is to do with where Satan is at the beginning, which he is thrown out of, out of heaven. So he's chosen um, to go against God. And a third of heaven is, is, is of the angelic beings are thrown. So I'll, I'll show you those in a minute. Um, but the, the you know, so it's like, so, what, what, so what, what, why are you doing this? Why don't you just get on with the other way? I suppose because it's an opportunity. It's helping me to really improvise. Uh, and improvise in bringing out things that I really, really wanted to um, uh, discuss and I've thought about a lot in my life and um, I've encountered a lot in my life. Um, funny things as well as deadly serious things and uh, sad things. Um, so just, um, if I look at these drawings, so so this is, a, it's only a photocopy of it, but um, which is what I've traced, but this is a drawing I did in Turkey, and just like something looking and observing, of, of, of seeing. Um, in fact, these, in fact, these all came out of, um, this all came out of a series of drawings that I made when I was in, when I was in Turkey, um, in uh, 2012, and it's all to do with being seen. And, um, and kind of the eyes of God looking, or being observed, or being conscious of being observed. So these popped out in Turkey in 2012, and there's two sketchbooks of these. And then they change. And this is another one I'm going to use about being hidden. And this one. Then I might as well show you all the all the books all, all that occurred because this is this is an important part to um, to understanding in a way understanding how I work really. So there's a whole f suite of drawings. So that's um, someone by the sea, and the sea comes back again. Again, people walking. It's my favorite, the cloud of unknowing. 
I'm going to do a large liner cut off. People bathing. So these are just charcoal, kind of cloud measuring the landscape. Then these pieces, these rock pieces, and finally down we go. So what that occurred was um, about the same time um, I was responding to um, Milton and I made this strange little paint. I made this strange little drawing which led on to um, this one, where there's a kind of Milton character standing above and something going on underneath, exactly like this last one, where there's a, like a theatre, theatre piece, a theatre piece, and someone's dying underneath or something. I can't remember what I was reading. Maybe it was one of the gospel readings. And here we have then an oratory. So M Milton's reading out his poem, and there's something happening underneath. Then that led on to these drawings of the poet, the blind poet and the devil underneath, or the fallen angel underneath, the fallen angel underneath. Um, and this piece, which is, which is what I use for the front piece. Um, and so on. And then I started doing drawings of beginning. So what you have, and I'll just show you these first ones. So you get them thrown out of heaven. And then they land like flies. And then they fall on the lake. And then they wake up and do exercises. And then there's a speech by Satan, rousing the rebel angels with his speech. Um, and then he flies out. And there's other things, but I haven't got there yet. So, so that's what I really wanted to show you. That prior, so my time in my time in um, Turkey was very very important. Um, felt like I was in a Claude Lorraine painting and out comes this this suite of 36 drawings um, and already I'd been thinking uh, that I had started reading the Milton though I I was reading Paradise Lost then but um, it was more um, I wasn't thinking of doing anything to it I was just letting spill out of it. When I came back I followed up the drawings um, and I started making them into the the ones I've showed you, but actually there's there's five or six books of them here, um, you know. But I'm just showing you the, how far I've got. Now what I'm going to show you is is the cuts as far as they've got. Um, very very simple thing that's transformed them is the size of the paper, and that's really what I want to show you because it's made an enormous difference. The way um, remember they're just in black and white, so there's no color additions yet. So I won't. I'll make all twelve. Um, of the black and white pieces of the first book first and then I will start making the blocks um, for the colours um, and and uh, painting them over and I'll my idea is to make paintings of um, bigger paintings um, from the liner cuts so I'm going to make freehand paintings improvised from each one uh, quite a number of them probably like I did in Australia and see where I go um, uh, and they will be violets and yellows. That's the idea, and then I'll move on. Or whilst I'm painting, I'll start cutting the second uh, second book and looking forward very much to coming out from 
the miseries of the darkness of, of, of Satan into the space of heaven, which is a, a fantastic book. It's really, really, really beautiful. Um, just uh, full of hope. Um, very beautiful language and the imagery is just wonderful. For me. But for me, it's this exquisite um, spatial opening. And so what I probably will be doing, I won't uh, use any of the boundaries, like the one you can see behind me, it has a big black line, and often my liner cuts all have big black lines, um, or edges of boundaries that I uh, print from, it actually protects the liner from um, getting destroyed, but they won't have boundaries, I don't think. Um, anyway, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. On one of the vlogs in Australia, I showed you this. This is the poet dreaming, so this is the front piece, so this is Milton, and already he knows, or it's a, it's the kind of um, one could say it's um, the poet, the, uh, God, the poet, um, really realizing that his creation is already choosing to go against part of his cre creation is choosing to go against him. And I've made Satan quite fly-like. Second one is they're being thrown out of heaven. I've reworked this since I did this uh, before I went to Tasmania, so I've cut a lot back, and um, you can see. They're all getting thrown out, so they're falling down. Um, so these will be like little fireflies with illuminated lights in darkness. So that's the second one. Then what we have here is they've landed like flies. Now, I've done a number of different versions of this where I'm playing Um, see, I've, I've cut bits out, so it's um. So I'm. I haven't decided which one, how I'm going to play it yet. And that's one with nothing at the bottom. See, all those lines have gone in the bottom, but they're still in the top. And that one. They're really changed on the top and, of course, gone on the bottom. But that's actually how the block looks at the moment, with lines at the top and the bottom. I haven't kind of made my mind up yet. So I might print some like this first and then cut them out how I've chosen. When they've landed on the lake of fire and there, you just see Satan there. He's woken up. Everyone's asleep still. And there's lots of different size of angels. So you can see, look, there's little like little flies and little little ones and bigger ones. Um you see them like little ones and big ones? Yeah. But it's like they're huge, they're colossuses. Okay, so they're lying on the lake of fire, and then they wake up. So they're doing exercises now. So again, you've got different scales, different scales of um, of fallen angels, and they don't look like they they haven't kind of become demonic yet. So they're still very beautiful creatures. Uh, and this is the speech, and he's making a speech. Um, he's making a speech here before he's. Uh, his rebel angels. So he's just waiting for quiet. So he's pausing and reflecting. So already the organisation of hell, of um, of hell itself is, you know, they're forming this circle and things like that. And then this one is the building of pandemonium, the building of uh, the city in hell. And there you've got this huge sculpture. So there's lots of sculptures to celebrate their great leader. And they're all being built up. And you can see the kind of, uh, the cherubim, the fallen cherubim as sentinels in the sky, um, and cranes and they're building things. And then the final one I've just cut is the city of Pandemodium complete. And then you see, this is what I was talking about when I was in Australia. This drawing existed, had been existed a while and that's, this is the um, the museum box 
where there's a whole world going on, a particular place, and it, but it's finite. So this is pandemonium in all its in all its glory and mess and and gold and they've built this great city. So there it is. Pandemonium. Yeah. So what I'm cutting now is this um is this is like the eyes of God moving across the landscape. Um and then we've got So I'm about to draw that onto a block too. Now, one thing I wanted to show you was the way how they change when they're on bigger paper. So this is a beautiful zircle paper. So look how much space and look how different they feel. Um, so here you have those other two. And then the rest here, these drawings and photocopies of drawings, is um, various, all the different parts of the next part, which is book two, and then this is scenes of heaven in in book three. But there's 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 more drawings than these, and these are these are going to be in the beautiful pinks and and yellows and mushroom colours and just beautiful against blues and violets. Then this is the rest of my studio with lots and lots of pigments and up here lots and lots of prints hanging on the ceiling there's my press, nipping press and there's a painting from Tasmania but this this wall here where those prints are there that's my painting wall so I'll be clearing that and clearing all this space so there's empty walls so I can really think and paint and that's my north light, and there are those lots of prints hanging up. There's lots of prints hanging up here too. Take about 2,000 prints on the ceiling, and there's some of the sculptures. So there you have it, that's about where I am. Um, just really getting started on, on the first book. So I've got those four to do, another four to do, and that's, so that's a set of 12. And then I'll start the second book and think about colour. Um, it's a very, very slow process, but also during that, I'm. So if we go back to this drawing, this is what I'm starting with. It's a lot smaller. And then I'm blowing it up. Um, I've blown it up in this tracing. And then after this tracing, reworking. See, I'm redrawing it onto the block. Now, already on the block, I've changed it considerably. Um, and I'm redrawing it. But as I'm doing this one, I wanted to start the other three as drawings on the blocks. Because what, what I find I do, I start really thinking differently. And um, I want them to work very powerfully within the rectangle. So all these are the things that I'm, I, I do in a painting. Um, as opposed to a drawing where you take it to a point where you think, I'm really pleased with that, that's great, I'll, I'll stop there. And it works as a drawing. In a painting, one goes far beyond that. Um, not only in the drawing element, but there, there is the colour element and very, very much pa more powerfully working towards the rectangle. Oh, well, that's what I do. Um, there you go. Thank you very much. And I will be keeping you informed for the next one, but it might be. It's not like every week before or every few days, it'll be every few months. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the work. There we go. Oh yes, I thought I'd show you this. Um, there is Milton. This is a painting I did a while ago of Milton dreaming, just with oranges, earth oranges, and his thinking, or the poet dreaming. Dreaming good things or bad things? Dreaming.